Good evening, this is Stuart Fleming. In tonight's video, we're going to be going over the second part of working with Java classes on the view object. And you can see here that I have a view object called employee VO. You double click it and it opens up this window here. Get rid of this. In the first video, we did some very simple methods on the view view object class. And tonight on this one we're going to work with this view row impl. And when we create the view row impl, let me go back here. I'm going to include accessors for this. Actually we'll, we'll do it without accessors and then we can go back and take a look at it. You can see that it's a very basic method here. Not much to it. So let's go back, close it, go back in and now look at it it's going to have a lot of information on here you can see all of these fields are listed and one thing that I'd like to maintain and show you is this actually we can go to the entity for this Sometimes it's necessary to change the data type. And I just like to show, for example, the employee ID. Let's get rid of our log here. Don't need that right now. Double click on that, you can see. We might want to change that. Now, um, DB sequence is only used when you have a database created DB, uh, sequence okay and you'd actually put the sequence name in here I'm going to change it to that but um, it's only for the example here and you can see that this has changed and um, maybe we better close that let's go back to our Java here now I want to see here where the and actually, if you go to the structure window here, you can see all of the values here. And we're going to do the get, where is it, employee ID. It's listing it as an int. Just a second, please. I think what happened was is that we saved it before we had changed it. So since it's the very beginning, I'm just going to get rid of it and go back in and generate it and generate the accessors again. Okay, and now when we go over here and ah, good, set the DB sequence is now set to that value and you can see that it is necessary and this is the return value. So I'm going to close that. This time I should close it before I do that and we're going to set it back to a number And you can see here it's set to a number. Now when we go to an employee VO and try to find it, this is still set to a DB sequence. So I've noticed that I think, I believe that in later versions this is actually changing. So this is something that you have to do um, by hand now for a little while, or we completely get rid of it, um, which is maybe the easiest thing to do at this point and then just recreate it. But I've seen it change in, um, I believe, the newer version. I'm working with um, this version, 11.1.16, only because I do some work with SOA also. And that's the version that works with SOA. So that's one thing to keep in mind when you're working with a, a view object impl. OK, let's go back. And uh, looks like I need to set it with accessors here. OK. All right, if we look at my form, I've only got a few pieces of information on here. And um, I'm going to be working with getting some values from that view, uh, view row impl that we just created. 
Okay. I've got a very simple method here. And um, basically, it's just show salary, and it's doing a return of the get salary, which is one of the accessors that we have. Going out to the employee view object, we now want to make that available on the data control. So we come over here and get our show salary here. We now view some of these are created for us automatically to handle the plumbing, as it were. And here you can now see that we have our show salary. I'm going to go over to the main JSPX and just drag that on as a button. Now really we need the return value to make any use of that. And I'll just set that as a value. Okay, here we are on our page. And we press the show salary button and we get 24,000, assuming that's correct. I actually haven't looked. Uh, this is one problem we have, is that when you go to the next record, this is still set, but that can be worked with. But we get the next one. Um, so this would probably be something that you would run to run. Frankly, the fact is that this is part of the table, but it does show that you can grab the value from this. So it does work.